back so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got this look um it's my first time working with dark colors especially black i am so very scared to work with black it's a very hard color to work with too but i really like how this makeup turned out i am so excited for you guys to see the tutorial and hopefully you guys really like it too if you guys want to see how i got this makeup look then just keep on watching hey guys so i already did my eyebrows and i primed my lids um i did my eyebrows off camera because they do take me a little bit long and i do have a video on that already uh check it out in one of my videos or i'll leave the link in the um description box so I primed my eyelids with the Nixum eyeshadow base. It's this one and it's in white. Leave everything that I use down in the description box. So, And then I um, just set the base with um, Kylie Cosmetics. This is so old. Look, this... <laughs> can't even see anymore. But I used the cream one. So um, that's what I did. And I'm kind of going for this look. It's kind of like an inspo. So that is what I am going to try and achieve. I've never worked with black, ever. So we'll see how that um turns out. For the base, I'm going to start off with black eyeliner. I heard that this is the best thing to do when working with black. So that is what I am going to do. So I'm going to do this as the base first and um, I'm not going to add the black right away. I'm going to do the purple. I mean the purple. What? <laughs> I'm going to do the orange at the top before I go in with the black eyeshadow. Um, and for that, I'm going to use a mix. I'm going to go in with um, this one here. I think this is from Coastal Suns. Yes, and this is Marmalade. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. Marmalade. I'll link it down below. These are like, I think they were on sale. They were like 85 cents, I think. Pretty sure that's what they cost. So I'm going to grab a brush. And to deepen this orange, I'm going to go in with the Kylie, um, this color, this orange. blend it out more but after I have that I'm gonna go in now with the black and I'm gonna use one of these from the Anastasia this one and then I'm gonna use the flat side and I'm gonna go in with the black from the Kylie it's right here <laughs> I'm just going to go in now with the fluffy side, grab more into that black, and I'll just blend this. So the other day I did my first Halloween look, actually not the other day, just last night. I did my first Halloween looks ever. I've done a scarecrow. When I used to work at um, Portillo's, 
we would be able to dress up for Halloween and I was a scarecrow once and I did my makeup for that but I mean it wasn't much so I um I did a classic deer look and then I did another one I'll show you guys and then so I did this and then I also did I was attempting to do this one and this is kind of how it turned out or thought I had one just check out my Instagram it'll be there and then I did the deer and I'm gonna add as much black as possible has a small wing very small just to hide the lashes so that's what I'm going to do okay after I have my wing and after I've done everything I'm gonna go in with okay so after I have everything done I just finished I did my wing off camera um so I have the Sony a5100 I think so it needs to cool down so I had it when I went and bit my my liner so now I'm gonna go with these double icon lashes in the style Brooklyn and you can use my code Lisette 21 and save 30% off I believe at checkout so I'm gonna go ahead and use these aren't they forget first of all this packaging though pink and black obsessed and then look how beautiful they are. I mean, come on. And they're not bad. The la the lash is so thick. And it comes with a little thing. And you can pull your box out. There you go. And they look like this. Look at those lashes. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay. They're so, oh my gosh. These lashes, guys, obsessed. Look at that. Obsessed. These lashes are like some I've never seen before. Like, so obsessed. Can we just look at first of all okay if this is not a sponsored video um i just have a code with them but look at those and disclaimer i just got into putting lashes using false lashes so i normally use kiss that's what i lose used in my last video um i use aliexpress lashes i use Ardell lashes, but these lashes very are feel like very luxurious and boxy charm sent sent me a box of a uh, house of lashes in Bambi, but just the quality like this. Let's just compare. House of lashes, the very thin band icon lashes the thickness of that band i mean come on there's there's no comparison there's just not so this is actually my first purchase from double icon yeah so this is my first purchase from um double icon lashes but oh my gosh i'm obsessed so you guys definitely should get should check them out. I'll leave the link below. And again, if you use my code Lisset21, L-I-S-S-E-T, you get 30% off your purchase. So 
And they're not that bad. I think they're like $25. And I ordered these Thursday or Friday. And I got them yesterday, Saturday. Like, I mean, you can't beat that, honestly. Like I am obsessed with these lashes. Oh my goodness, you guys. You guys need this pair. <laughs> um started the base with black uh eyeliner but i just primed my eyelids and then i didn't go in with the black right away instead i went in with orange from coastal scents i can't pronounce the name but it's this one and then also used the orange from kylie and i used this brush from um aliexpress and the reason I am going with the orange is because I already like kind of know where my base is going to be. So I'm doing this on my crease because I don't want to, if I put the black first, then you won't be able to see the orange. <laughs> After I did the orange, I'm going to go in with um, the Anastasia brush and the flat side. And I'm going to go in in that black from Kylie again. And this time, I'm going to set the base. like some browns i'm going to use that to blend this so there's not like a big difference between the black and the orange <laughs> with black and with any smoky eye it's all about just blending so there's no harsh lines so there's not any roughness so everything looks even when I it's where I want it to be I'll go in after I'll just put everything together I'll um go in with these two from wet and wild okay so after the eyes are done um this is I'll kind of touch it up a little bit when I um finish my face but this is kind of how it turned out I actually really really like it <laughs> this is my first time ever playing with black I've done like dark colors like plums and purples and burgundy but never black so I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, so for foundation like I said I already primed my face. I use the um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More and I use um, MAC Prep and Prime. For foundation I'm going to go in with NYX Total Control Drops and mix in a little bit of the Infallible um, Pro Matte. Just a little bit because I like... Um, they're both full coverage, but I just like this a little bit more. It's more on the thicker side. It 
that much and then this is more on the runnier side so just kind of get the drops from here and then like three drops and then I'm kind of how it looks you can see how runny that one is and then just mix it <laughs> coverage that I feel like I'm okay with I'm gonna go in with um the age instant age rewind by um Maybelline and to set my concealer I'm gonna go in with the air spun and then I'm gonna use um my beauty blender beauty sponge what do you guys say beauty blender or beauty sponge even though it's not an actual beauty blender brand can you still call it a beauty blender or is that wrong okay after I set that I'm gonna set the rest of my face my face and I'm gonna use uh, Maybelline's fit me and I am in the shade fair 10 light and then I'm gonna use this big sponge by BH cosmetics love BH cosmetics love love I think they always have great deals um and then with this same one I'm just gonna take that bake off well, I don't really bake but Oh, but yeah, I love BH Cosmetics. They always have good sales going. I think their stuff is very, very affordable. Um, I just love them. After I set my face and my concealer and everything, I'm going to go in with bronzer. And I'm using the Pure Cosmetics um, Sculptor. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I am obsessed. I love, this is my shade. That's too dark for me. But I'm going to go in with this one and gonna use another BH cosmetic brush it's it's from the same um it's a set so yeah on I'm gonna go in with blush and I'm gonna be using um pretty vulgar in make them blush pretty sure uh, 111 as you can see okay. don't be alarmed by how pink this is I was toning at first I was actually gonna throw it away and be like I'm never gonna use this but with a little bit and I'm going with an Ulta oh my gosh this is crap I'm gonna go out with an Ulta blush for um highlight i'm gonna use this one as well from the same um palette
highlight is done, I'm going to go in with some setting spray. And I'm using um, Morphe's Continuous Mist. I love this stuff. Okay, so for lips, I'm going in with ColourPop and Lady. Hey, you. I saw you from the distance. Hey, you. Can we talk? Hey, you. I think you're my subsistence. Honestly, I did not think it would turn out this good. Um, for my first time trying black and just dark colors overall, I feel like I did a I feel like I did a pretty dang good job. Um, I still would love to keep practicing and perfecting my art and my work, but I think I really like this. Um, would I wear this outside of my house? I don't know. <laughs> I feel very weird with um, the black, but for a special occasion or if I was ever feeling bold, I would definitely rock this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on my bell notifications on so you don't miss out when I post. Follow me on my social media. It will be listed down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.